you're about to see an incredible human document. An encounter with forces that no one on this earth really understands. You may find it shocking, impossible. But it is nevertheless evidence of a universe beyond the power of our five senses. <laughs> Huts just like this are found all over Mexico. Well, not exactly like this. For here high in the Sierra Madres, a hundred miles south of Rio Grande, a strange thing has been happening. Something very strange. This oil painting is called La Tormenta, the storm, quite properly, too. It will create a furor in art circles and perhaps will become the most hotly disputed canvas in the history of modern art. The paint isn't quite dry. You see, it was just finished tonight. The artist, he died three years ago. Well, I don't know, honey. It says so pretty clearly right here. Joe, I tell you, Pedro Castera couldn't have painted that picture. Well, why not? He died before it was painted. That can't be. Look, there's a signature right there. Pedro Castera. Then it's a fraud. A fraud? Look, it's the best one of the whole bunch. You know this one won a grand prize? Somebody else must have painted it. I beg your pardon, madam. I'm the curator of this museum. Did I understand you to say this picture is fraudulent? I say Pedro Castero did not paint this picture. Well, you seem very sure of that. I am. You see, my wife and Mr. Castero attended the Art Institute in Chicago together. And he died before this picture was painted. Madam, this is one of the finest examples of his work. This is not his work. Hey, Adele, for the love of Mike. Joe, I know. Pedro wanted to paint this picture, and he did a preliminary sketch of it in watercolors. I saw it. He planned to do it in oils when he got back from Korea. He said so in a letter that he wrote to me. A letter from Korea. A letter that was dated the day before he was killed in action. I, I still have the letter at home. I'm sorry, madam. We've kept the exhibit open a little later than usual today, so if you, you don't, don't believe mind. me, do you? No, madam, I do not. But I'm telling the truth. Tell. You heard the man. Now, come on, let's go. painted this picture. Joe. Joe, darling, mm. are you asleep? What? 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 Huh? I wanted to know if you were asleep yet. Oh, honey, I was. Look, Joe, I'm sorry, but... Joe. Uh, hey, honey, it's two o'clock in the morning. The alarm is set for seven. You feel all right? Yes, darling, I'm fine. I'm you right. sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh. Turn, turn out the light and go back to sleep, huh? Uh. Joe. I'll get your sleeping pill. Joe, I don't want a sleeping pill. I want to talk to you. Peanut butter, maybe? Uh, no, Joe, uh, darling, please listen Sour pickle? To me. Oh, no, let's not get on Castera again. Joe, he, he's on my mind. I can't seem to get him out of my mind. I don't know, my, my nerves seem to be all... Hey. Wait a minute. Adele. Were you in love with Pedro? Joe, come on. No, no. Seriously, were you? Oh, darling, of course not. I, it was just a sweet thing, that's all. Okay. 
Come on, come on back to bed, huh? Oh. Joe. Joe, I've simply got to find out who did paint the storm and, and why they painted it. Oh, you're absolutely convinced somebody else painted that storm. Absolutely. Pedro couldn't have painted it. And yet there, there's nobody else that could have. Well, maybe Castera came back from the grave and painted that picture. Oh, that's ridiculous. Isn't it? You bet. Well, maybe one of his students copied it. A thousand things could have happened. What are you worried about? Sorry. But suddenly I feel so disorganized. Jeff. Well, honey, you know that's only natural at a time like this. It's not natural. I didn't feel this way until I saw that picture today. Well, sweetheart, life is full of unexplained little mysteries. Joe. Hmm? San Luis del Cordero is only a hundred miles past the border. Well, so what? I want you to take me there. What for? We see, that's the town where Pedro was oh, born. Oh, honey, please. That's Joe! Joe, you've got to help me. Sweetheart, it's going to be too dangerous to be that far away from doctors now. Please, I must. I simply must. Okay, okay. All right. Well... Hey, if we don't see Yellowstone National Park, maybe someday our kids will, huh? All right. Oh, Joe, I love this place. The, the whole place has a sort of peaceful feel. Jorge, trae flores para la señora. Oh, wait a minute, here. Thank you. Are you still sorry you came? Well, I will let you know in just one minute. This is our finest room, senor. But maybe I'll give you softer bed. No, no, no. It's okay, really. It's just like home. <laughs> I send for flowers for the senora. Uh, thank you. Um, senor, do you know the senora Castera? The mother of Pedro Castera? Yes. Uh, Pedro was a friend of mine. We went to art school together in Chicago before the war. See? Pedro was a fine boy. Yes, and a very fine artist. My husband and I just saw one of his exhibitions. See, si. uh, Senor, do you know where the Senora Castera lives? Oh, si, Senora. At the hacienda, at the end of the road. If you are friends of Pedro, she will be very glad to welcome you. Oh. The Senora is very good. Since the paintings of Pedro sell for big money, she helped everyone in the village. Well, I'm sure that's what Pedro would have wanted her to do with the money. Si, senora. Companies. Joe. Joe, let's go right now. Sure. We will go right now. Joe. I cannot tell you how happy it makes me to meet one of my Pedro's American friends. I just hope we're not intruding, senor. Oh, Perhaps I am intruding, Margarita, on such an important occasion. Oh, no, father. The father and I are old friends. He loved Pedro almost as much as I. See. Si. You are an artist, too? Well, not exactly. After I finished art school, I married, and then I became a fashion illustrator. Oh, but Pedro really had the talent. The instructors at school always said that someday he would be famous. Yes. And he's very happy about it. The senora often speaks of her son as if he would... As if he were alive. Yes, it is uh, one of, how do you say, a fantasy of mine. I understand, senora. Pedro is an only child. My husband was a doctor. Yes, after we were married, 
we came to live here in San Luis del Cordero. M my husband, he wanted my son to be a, a, a surgeon. He had such delicate hands. Oh, but I must not go into this. The senor is admiring one of Pedro's watercolors? What? Yes, I am. Adele. Joe. Joe, that's the picture I was talking about. Yeah, the storm. Yes, that is what Pedro called it, the storm. It won the Grand Prix in Paris last year. Many times I've been asked to sell it, and for much money. But this I cannot do. No. Senor, there's something I don't quite understand. Something that perhaps you can explain. See, my dear. I saw this picture once before, in 1951. Pedro planned then to paint it in oil. And yet I'm so sure... You are so sure of what? I'm sure he didn't. But you saw the oil painting. Yes, Father. And I know that Pedro planned to paint it. He said so in a letter that he wrote to me. A letter he wrote the day before... the day before he was killed in action. I am sorry to be inhospitable. But I must ask you and the Senor to leave. Margarita. Please leave. And you must never return here. Do you hear me? Never. They must not find out. Please, look, it's not just getting yourself all worked up over it. Please. Look, look. We'll have a good dinner tonight, and tomorrow morning we'll go. All right? Key, please. Uh, I'm very sorry, senor. I make a mistake. Your room, senor, it was reserved. Well, give us another room. Very sorry, senor. All the rooms are reserved. All the rooms? Very sorry, senor. There is your luggage. Well, how do you like that? In plain words, you just want to—you want us to get out. Is that right, Senor? It—it it, it is difficult to explain. Uh, Joe, uh, don't argue with him. I'm not arguing with anyone. I'm going to find out what's going on around here. Now look, just an hour ago you gave us the finest room in your hotel, and now you're kicking us out. Why? It is difficult to explain, Senor. I, what do you mean you cannot explain? What is this? Some kind of bums rush or something? Senor, please, uh, do not make trouble, Senor. He's making the trouble. Now, look, we've come a long way. My wife's going to have a baby. She needs rest. Senor, believe me. You must go from our village for your own good. Well, why? What have we done? Our people do not want you here, Senor. Joe, I'm not tired. Let's just get our baggage and go. Okay. Okay. Madame Lafarge is giving me the creeps. Come on, Joe. I'd like to punch somebody right in the nose. <laughs> what the devil's the matter with this thing? You're flooding it. Wait a minute. I just want to get out of here. I don't understand it. Everyone was so nice to us when we came here. Why did Pedro's mother get so angry? Why is everyone acting so strangely? Joe. Joe, you don't think Pedro is alive and living here in this village, do you? Honey, I love you. And I love myself. Now, there are just some questions not worth finding the answers to if it means getting your throat cut. Maybe we're out of gas. No, the tank is full. What's that? Huh? 
Coyote. How would you know? Oh, honey, there's got to be a logical explanation for something around here. Joe. Joe, I I'm really scared. No, 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 no. Come on, now. We'll be moving in a minute. Buenas noches, senor. Senora. What are you doing back there? I know about painting. What painting? What are you talking about? Painting a Pedro Castera, senor. What do you know, Juanito? Look, Adele, I don't care what this kid knows. I'm fed up with this whole bit. Now, look, Juanito, just open the door and get out. I show you, senor. Muchas gracias, but no thanks. Just open the door and get out. Juanito, what will you show us? What you came here to find out. You turn, see? Drive that way. Juanito, do you understand plain English? Plain English? Yeah. Si, sí, senor. Good. Open the door and get out. Si, sí, senor. You turn, see? Drive that way. What am I going to do with him? You know a fit of Juanito, senora. No, Juanito, I'm not afraid. I'm afraid. You turn, senor. Drive that way. Go ahead, Joe. Adele, where's the logic in this? I for don't the, know. For the look. Adele, Just go the... ahead. Oh. Lead on, Juanito. Kids on the level. Maybe he's leading us into a trap. Juanito, friend to Senor and Senora. Yeah, so was everybody else in this town when we arrived. Do you know where I wish we were right now? Home. Watch. Senor, Senora. El tío, Uncle Tomas. Buenas noches, senores. Good evening, sir. Juanito, why did you bring us here? Tío, ¿les puedo enseñar? Sí, si el padre lo desea. Sí. See, paint. They're oils. Just like Pedro used for impasta. In fact, I think these were Pedro's. Senora, son de Pedro. What are they doing here? Did you... Did you paint the store? Juanito. Dice la señora que si tú pintaste la tormenta. Si, señora. Well, now that solves the mystery. Everybody in the village knew this, and they didn't want anybody else to find out. But why not? Juanito, why did your uncle sign Pedro's name to that picture? Dice la señora que por qué firmaste el nombre de Pedro en la pintura. Porque Pedro la pintó, señora. He said because Pedro, he paint picture. Oh, Adele, obviously, the man is senile. Juanito, if your uncle had signed it himself, he would be rich and famous. Sí, señora. But then why didn't he? Buenas noches, Tomás. Buenas noches, padre. Al señor, señora. Ve, padre, los hice venir. Sí, Juanito, sí. Gracias, gracias. I asked Juanito to bring you here because I feel when you go back to your country, you cannot forget what has happened in our village. Oh, you bet your life we won't. And you would go to the institute and newspapers and ask questions. And soon, everybody would ask questions. I'm afraid you're right, Father. This I did not want. You see, Pedro Castera is beloved in our village. He did good work here. And his good work continues to live after him. My people wish to protect him. Can you understand? Yes. But I don't understand this. If Juanito's uncle painted a picture that won a Grand Prix in Paris, why wasn't the fact made known to the public? Yes. And why were we thrown out of town? Les digo, Tomas? Sí, padre. Si usted gusta. Three years ago, Pedro Castera, 
came to Tomas in a dream. He told him to take canvas and oils and paint the storm. A few months later, it was done. And thus, a so-called miracle occurred. A miracle our people vowed to keep to themselves, to share with no outsiders. I'm sorry, Father, but it doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Tomas, Signora, has never painted a picture in his whole life before. Obviously, he has a great deal of natural talent. And he certainly had enough time to study Pedro's style. Such things have happened before in the art world. Now, Adele, look, if the people in this town want to believe it was a miracle, let them. Say, what about you, Father? Do you believe it was a miracle? I cannot say, Senor. I will let you decide for yourselves. Tomas, a favor, mirame. Tomas is blind, my friends. He has been blind since birth. If you had to define a miracle, what would you say? Well, I suppose something like any effect in the physical world which surpasses all known or natural powers. It is therefore ascribed to a supernatural agency. A miracle? What do you think? 